Hey guys, well it's winter right now of course and there's not a whole heck of a lot going on out here. You, as you can see in the trees behind me there's a lot of brush that the leaves have all fallen off. You know everything's just not really growing right now. You know how winter goes so. But despite all of this. Well, there it is. Middle of October, Western Washington. I just cleaned these gutters out a couple weeks ago. That's how hard it's raining and hailing right now. It's just spilling over the edges. Holy fucking. And all of this. Hello. 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 Well, nothing's blooming, but we still got to have our fun. You got to see what I just found. All right, guys, you've got to check this out. Look at what I found the other day. I came out here and wanted to see what was going on with these wood chips. Uh, we're at, uh, geez, uh, I think tomorrow's December 1st. So I've noticed a few little weeds starting to pop up through. So I'm going to have to pull them out. And I'm just going to pull them out as I see them coming up. So I don't have a lot of weeds to deal with all at once. But come out here and start digging down in this stuff and you saw i just laid it out last summer look at that man all of that fungi i don't know if this camera's picking it up real well but there is just a massive amount of fungi already forming all throughout them wood chips and that is starting to create our soil food web that is going to feed all of the garden plants and all of the uh, blueberries and raspberries and all that good stuff so you know what I love about this stuff no matter what is happening that fungi is under the wood chips down in the soil constantly working and breaking up the wood chips and all of the other organic matter to provide us with awesome soil this spring Check it out, isn't that just an awesome sight, man? I love watching these little mushrooms growing all over the stump here and all over the uh, bark and wood chips and all throughout the garden beds because that tells me that we're gonna have some awesome healthy soil for this rhododendron bed for years to come. All that fungus is just digging down in there and tearing apart all these all this uh, organic matter, all of that carbon and just breaking it down. It's already starting to spread under that, that bark that I've got there that I just put down this summer. And it's just going to tear it all down and feed the soil for, for years and years to come. I love seeing that. It just lets me know that I've got some fantastic soil in the making. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I am absolutely excited for spring to come. We're right in the middle of winter, of course, and there's not a whole lot going on with plants out here. Everything's just kind of in hibernation right now, but spring is coming. We're almost to December 21st. I always look forward to that day because I know it's going to start getting lighter out here every single day, and we're going to be speeding towards spring. So I wanted to show you guys real quick. I don't know if you've ever read it. It's been around for a while, but there's this book, Teeming with Microbes. kind of goes along with... Uh, that fungus we were just looking at. And this is a totally awesome book, totally outstanding. Uh, when I read it, it really helped me understand the soil food web and how it all works together from the bacteria and the fungi and protozoa, protozoa all the way up to the earthworms and spiders and millipedes and centipedes and all the little bugs that crawl through there. It talks about how even the chickens, it talks about how they all interact um, how they break down organic materials to create what the plants need to thrive on. So if you're ever interested, this is a totally awesome book. You've got to get it. Uh, I'll try to see if I can get a link down in the description. If I can't, you can always go to Amazon uh, and find it there. But I uh, highly recommend it. Uh, they go into great detail about soil structure. See if I can get some shots here. 
Um, they've got a lot of pictures in there, uh, my, uh, of, uh, bacteria and fungi and organic matter under microscopes and what it really looks like. And they really break things down for you and help you understand it. Um, after you read this book, you will not uh, use chemicals anymore. Well, maybe for some of your landscape plants, but we won't tell anybody about that. But uh, <laughs> it, it just it will make you want to go more and more organic all the time and realize that that ultimately is the best avenue for growing awesome landscape plants, awesome gardens, vegetable gardens, um, and just any, really growing anything in general. So really excited for spring. I hope you guys are too. We're headed that way here soon. Have an awesome day and Merry Christmas and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, well I hope you guys liked that video and I just want to get off the beaten path real quick and let you guys know something. I'm putting up my first paid video. I finally put something together that you guys, I know you're going to be super excited about. Over the past, I don't know, six months or a year, I've gotten tons of comments and questions asking me how I build these nearing frames and it's kind of a it's kind of a Frankenstein of a propagation bed. Um, I've taken probably over the last, I don't know, as long as I've been doing propagating, I've been reading um, about different types of frames and different types of setups and nurseries, professional nurseries used throughout the country to propagate plants. And I've put it all together into one frame. I did this years ago and have perfected it over the years to make just an outstanding frame that is totally foolproof when it comes to plant propagation. Uh, I finally gotten everything together and filmed the entire process. So it's going to be available soon. I just want to let you know, get you a little bit excited about it. I know I'm excited about it. It was a lot of fun filming and it'll be available for you here real soon. As soon as I do make it available, I'll put a link down in the description. If it's not there yet, it's because I'm still editing. This video is going to be over an hour long. I think it's close to an hour and a half, something like that. And there's a lot of filming and a lot of editing that went into it, or is going to go into it still. Uh, so anyway, look for it soon. I'll have the link down below, and I'll make another video kind of um, referencing it. Also, if you guys like this channel and you want to see more content uploaded to it, if you like watching the videos and following along, let me know. Like the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to follow along and see more stuff going on here. Uh, you know, it, it really helps this channel out a lot if you subscribe and then let us know about it. Also, the best thing you can do to help me out if you want to see more videos and you want to carry on with this is to comment below and let me know what kind of things do you want to see? What kind of topics? You know, it's winter time right now. It's cold. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on in the landscaping and the gardening. And so it's a good time for planning ahead for the spring and summer. So comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see and what you want to know about and I'll respond. So I hope you guys are having a pretty good holiday season right now and uh, have an awesome day and we'll see you in the next video.